Did you know that the foods that you eat can play a significant role in controlling your blood pressure? So if you're looking for natural ways to manage your hypertension, you're in the right place. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you some of the most effective foods that can help you to lower your blood pressure. From leafy greens to fatty fish, these delicious options are packed with essential nutrients and can help you take control of your blood pressure. So don't miss out on this valuable information. Let's dive into the world of blood pressure lowering foods together. Green leafy vegetables. Leafy greens like spinach, kale, and collard greens, these are high in potassium. When you eat foods that are high in potassium, your body is able to balance out the levels of sodium and potassium, which in turn can help you to lower your blood pressure by offsetting the effects of sodium in the body. Sodium causes the blood vessels to constrict and to increase blood pressure. Potassium, on the other hand, helps to relax the blood vessels and to improve blood flow, which in turn helps you to lower your blood pressure. This is because potassium works as a natural diuretic, meaning it helps to flush excess sodium out of the body through your urine. Research has shown that people who consume a diet that's high in potassium have a lower risk of developing hypertension and that increasing potassium intake can help to reduce your blood pressure in people who already have hypertension. So really think about incorporating potassium rich foods like leafy greens, fruits, nuts, and seeds into your diet. And this can be a very effective way to help naturally lower your blood pressure. Berries. Berries, blueberries, strawberries. These contain flavonoids. Flavonoids are natural compounds which can improve heart health and also lower your blood pressure. So these healthy and delicious fruits can be enjoyed on their own or as a topping for yogurt or oatmeal. Yes, flavonoids have been shown to lower blood pressure. Flavonoids are a group of natural compounds which are found in plant-based foods such as fruits, vegetables, and herbs. There are different types of flavonoids, but some of the most commonly studied ones for the potential to lower blood pressure include quercetin, catechins, and anthocyanins. Studies have found that consuming foods that are high in flavonoids can help to lower blood pressure. For example, there was a 2016 systematic review of randomized controlled trials which found that flavonoid-rich cocoa products were associated with a significant reduction in both systolic and diastolic pressure. Overall, consuming a diet that's rich in flavonoids may be a natural way to help you to control your blood pressure. But it's important to know that flavonoids are just one component of a healthy diet. And lifestyle changes such as exercise and stress reduction, these are also important to helping you to maintain your blood pressure levels. Next, we have beets. Beets are high in nitric oxide, which can help to dilate your blood vessels and also to lower your blood pressure. So eating beets regularly can help improve blood flow and also to reduce your risk of heart disease. Nitric oxide is a molecule that's naturally produced by the cells which line your blood vessels in your body. And it has a number of important roles, including helping to regulate blood pressure. One way that nitric oxide helps to lower blood pressure is by causing the vessels to relax and also to dilate. And when blood vessels are relaxed, there's less resistance to blood flow, which helps to reduce blood pressure. Additionally, nitric oxide also helps reduce the production of another molecule, which is called endothelin-1, which is a very potent vasoconstrictor. Next is garlic. Okay, next we have garlic. Garlic contains a compound called allicin, which has been shown to help lower blood pressure. Adding fresh garlic to your meals or taking garlic supplements can be an easy way to improve your heart health. Allicin is a compound found in garlic that has been studied for its potential effects on blood pressure. So this is formed when garlic is crushed or chopped and this releases an enzyme called alienase. In addition, allicin may have some antioxidant effects that help to reduce inflammation and improve the function of the blood vessels. This can also help to lower blood pressure and reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. Next up is fish. Next we have fatty fish. So salmon, mackerel, all of these are high in omega-3 fatty acids, which can improve your heart health and also lower your blood pressure. So eating or incorporating fish into your diet at least twice a week can help you to reduce your risk of developing hypertension. Now, aside from finding these omega-3 fatty acids in fish, we can also find them in flaxseed, chia seeds, and walnuts. There are several mechanisms by which omega-3 fatty acids may help to lower your blood pressure. One mechanism is their ability to reduce inflammation in the body. 
Inflammation can lead to damage of the blood vessels, which can in turn raise your blood pressure. Also, studies have shown that omega-3 fatty acids can improve endothelial function, and this helps the ability of blood vessels to relax and to dilate. Overall, while the blood pressure-lowering effects of omega-3 fatty acids may be modest, adding omega-3 rich foods to your diet may be a helpful way to help promote cardiovascular health. Nuts and seeds. Nuts, like almonds, pistachios, also seeds like pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds. These are high in heart-healthy nutrients like potassium and magnesium, which can help to lower your blood pressure. Snacking on nuts or adding them to your meals can be a great way to improve your overall health. Dark chocolate. Yes, you heard right. Chocolate. Dark chocolate contains flavonoids, which can help lower your blood pressure. However, it's important to choose dark chocolate that has a high percentage of cocoa solids and to limit your intake to a small amount each day. You really don't want to be eating tons and tons of chocolate just for the flavonoid effect. Okay, and there you have it, foods that can naturally lower your blood pressure. Incorporating these foods into your diet can help you to achieve a healthier lifestyle and also to help reduce your risk of developing high blood pressure. As always, Consult with your PCP before making any significant changes to your diet or to your lifestyle. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon.